Hi there, thank you for stopping by to share with Julie today. I hope you're having a fantabulous day today. Well, recently I did a video on the pH scale in which I, you know, mentioned that there are some foods that are acidic and there are some foods that are alkaline, you know, foods falling below seven on the pH scale are acidic, acidic foods and foods that are above seven on the pH scale are alkaline foods. And, you know, it was just, um, it was um, just really, that video was really just to explain, you know, the pH scale and encourage people to eat more alkaline foods. But that in itself is incomplete. You know, that is incomplete. And the reason is um, because, okay, when we talk about acid and alkaline, al acidity, acidic foods versus alkaline foods, we're talking about the foods before they are eaten. So that it's where they stand on the pH scale in their natural stage. No. So we say a food, is, a food is acidic or a food is alkaline according to where they are on the pH scale before eaten. Right? That's the first thing that it is important to know, that it is before they are eaten. However, there are two other terms that are important for us to understand, and that is acidifying foods or acid forming foods and alkalizing foods or alkaline forming foods. Acidifying or acid forming foods are foods that make the body more acidic when we eat them. And alkalizing or alkalizing foods are foods that make the body more alkaline when we eat them. And the reason I felt that I had to make this video <laughs> was because I saw an article where someone was basically talking about foods that were acidic and the article was targeted to acidic foods and what I saw was just fruits and vegetables and I thought it was very unfortunate because fruits and vegetables, you know, even though there may be some that fall below seven on the pH scale, making them acidic, they are alkalizing foods. So they are alkalized, they're alkaline forming foods. So when we ingest them, even though in their natural state, they are acidic, they are below seven on the pH scale. When we consume them, they have an alkalizing or healing effect on the body and I think we that is something that I, I needed to say to just um, raise the awareness for those who probably didn't realize that there is a difference alkaline versus acid foods alkalizing or acidified foods there are you know different so it's not just where the food stand on the pH scale also it what it does to the body some of the most out some of the most alkalizing foods are fruits and vegetables so just keep that in mind you know try and and learn just don't just take my word for it or or believe those you know the information that is out there it's not just what's on the surface it's not just about foods that are in their raw state um alkaline and acidic it's what they do to the body so look pay more attention to foods that are alkalizing versus foods that are acidifying i hope you found this useful subscribe to my channel like and share my videos. Don't forget, be the change you'd like to see in this world. Have a fantabulous day today. Ta-ta!